we're going to start side drifting, which allows us to cover a lot of water quickly. Now what's important when it comes to side drifting is that everybody on the boat has the exact same gear. If someone has a different diameter line or different pound test, it will drag through the water at a different speed than every other line and cause a lot of tangles. So what we have set up here right now is we're gonna start with the rod, then the reel, then the line, all the way on down through our system. We're gonna start with the rod, it's a nine foot eight, and the pound test rating is six to 15, but what we're looking for is a little bit longer rod so that way we can cast these lighter weights and lighter lines far enough away from the boat to fish opposite banks and just spread our lines out a little bit more. So having the longer rod definitely does help. As far as our reel, I got a larger arbor spool on here, that way I can pick up my line faster when you do get that bite and be able to pull fish away. The line itself, it's from Maximus, their Treasure 2 line, and we're using high vis yellow right now, and the reason why is because in side drifting, you typically have two to six lines out, and having the high vis yellow, you can actually see where everybody's line enters the water and it ensures that we're not getting tangled up. And this line is very, very strong. And what I also like about it is that it's a little bit stiffer and has less stretch, so it's gonna have more sensitivity. The less stretch, the more sensitivity. So we can feel that weight ticking along the bottom and it will help us determine what the bottom structure is like, if it's rock or if it's sand. Plus it helps with uh, reducing line twists and also with abrasion. And on the clear water here with 20 plus pound fish being caught on a regular basis, we want good strong line. And even though again, it's 10 pound, I feel confident it'll work out just perfectly. Uh, for our leader line here, this again is 10 pound, but this is the Maxima fluorocarbon. A little bit lighter line here in the fluorocarbon. The theory behind it is that the fluorocarbon will actually absorb the sun's rays, so it doesn't reflect light like, say, monofilament. And in super clear water like this, where you can see down 8, 10 feet, having fluorocarbon will help for sure. Then we're just coming down here to a size 2 hook, barbless of course, and then a corky. This is a size 10. That size 10 corky will give us just enough lift once we add some eggs or some shrimp to it. So that's our setup for side drifting. We're gonna bait up. Brandon's gonna get us to the top of the stretch. And we're gonna see if we can pull out another fish here. We got one in the box, we got a long ways to go. Thank you, sir. So that bait right here, that is raw, uncooked, but deveined and shelled prawn. What we did is we put that into the Pro Cure Prawn Cure last night it cures up really fast and uh, just add a little bit of water to it cut it up into chunks and it's a super cheap inexpensive and fast bait to make here and with our research we found out that prawns and coontran work pretty well so we're gonna try it other two guys are running eggs i'm gonna throw on a little prawn tail <laughs> 